Welcome to this Smart Process Automation for Surveys demonstration by Intraface. I am Andy Naylor, Head of Customer Success. We are Bitrix24 Gold Partners, providing implementation, customization, training and support. In today's demonstration, what I'll show you is how you can use the Smart Process Automation for recording your surveys. I'll also show you how you can create pipelines for each survey. We can utilize the automation rules to send autoresponder emails. And then what we'll do is we'll use the CRM forms to create our survey form and embed that form onto a website. And then finally, we'll submit the form and we'll be able to see the results. So first of all, what you need to do is navigate to your CRM and into settings and then click on Smart Process Automation. Then what we need to do is we need to create a new Smart Process Automation. And what we'll do is we'll select Essentials Only. We'll call this Smart Process Automation a survey. And then what we want to do is we want to enable pipelines because each one of our surveys will become its own pipeline. We want to have custom stages we want to use the automation rules to send email responders. I will leave use the workflow designer off in this example, and I can also make the uh, pipelines public. I'm not going to select any of the other options in here. I don't need to bind this survey to the CRM. If it's the CRM customers that you are wanting to send this survey out to, then what I would probably recommend is to click on CRM bindings and link this to either a contact or a company. That will mean that when you go into that contact or company, you can associate them together and you'll see all of the surveys that that particular contact or company has submitted. And then finally, if we want to include tasks on this SPA and you can select it, same with calendar, and we'll leave it as the CRM entity is selected, and then we'll click on save. So here you can see that the survey component is created. If I now refresh, go to our smart process automation main navigation, then we can click on survey. However, what I want to do first of all is create my set of fields that I want in the survey itself. So what I'll do is I'll create a string for the individual to provide their full name. I will then include another string for them to provide their email. And then what we want to do is start creating our survey questions. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a first list and our survey is going to be about Bitrix24. So how satisfied are you with Bitrix24? Then what I want to do is add numbers into here. So one, two, three, four, five. And what I'll do is I'll specify it exactly like this. So it's going to be a single select and I can click on save. Then click on create again. And now what I want to do is add another list item. In this particular one, I'm going to allow multiple selection and let me add our list values. So again, I'll add five list values that are going to be very useful when the survey is submitted and then I will click on save. Again, we're going to add five questions in total. So with this one, again, what I'm going to do is add a list. Lists are going to be the most popular type of field when you are requesting surveys. So again, we can say and again, that's going to be a single select. The fourth question, what we'll do is again, we'll make it a list. And then in our list values, what I will do is I will select 
add those. And then the final question, what we'll have is just a string box. So a string is text and numbers, but in this case, I want a large comment box. So I'm gonna select more, and what I'll do is I'll put a row count of 10. So those are all our fields created. Now what we want to do is actually go into the smart process automation itself. And what I want to do is re uh, rename this pipeline. So if I click on pipelines here, what I can rename that is what the type of survey is. So this one's going to be called Fitrix24 Satisfaction. And if you have another survey, what you can then do is add another pipeline here. Then we can go back to our uh, fields and create another set of fields for the additional pipeline. And then once you go into that additional pipeline, you can lay out the fields as I'm going to do now, and you can lay out different layouts for each survey separately. So whatever I lay out in here, it's not going to look the same as it would do if I created another pipeline, I can readjust all of these. So what I want to do is I'm going to have that just as a nicer multi-select box. We can say survey answers, and it's as simple as that. That is our layout. Then what we want to do is a new survey, stage one. And then we could say email sent, and then we'll just have a final stage of follow up. Then if I click on automation rules, what I want to do here is first of all, I want to rename the survey when it comes in. So I can click on create. I want to rename it on the new survey stage and I will click on here, modify. And what we want to do is modify the item field. So if I click on that, you can see that the field I want to rename is the name field. And we'll take a look at this once somebody submits. And then what we want to do is have full name as the value. So we're going to rename the survey answer. And then finally, what we want to do is we want to send an email. So I can click on send email to customer. In here, I can say, Hello, and then in, in the three dots to the right hand side, I'll just search for full name, click into here, and then we can put whatever we would like. And then what I will then do is just add one more, and then we will say change stage. here and then we just want to move it to the stage email sent and obviously you can build this pipeline up with all your automations now the final two steps what we want to do is we want to go to add-ons and then CRM form and we want to create our new CRM form here and we'll call it Bitrix24 satisfaction survey so what I want to do is remove all of the fields I then want to add my survey fields. So I'll say full name, email address, and then all of the questions. Click on add. And we can style this however we wish. I don't need any agreements on my form. Uh, I might want to just rename it. So I could say and then again, it's going to come to me. I can remove the banner if I wanted to. I can change the design of the button and so on and so forth. I'll leave it as that at the minute. I might just want to remove the bottom border. I'm never too, uh, never too big of a fan of that. And then what I want to do, the most important part is the CRM entities. So what do I want it to create? I want it to create a smart process automation. I want to make it a, a survey entry. And if I click 
expert mode, it can ensure that it goes into the Bittrex 24 satisfaction pipeline. And that's one of the good reasons why if you create an additional survey in another pipeline on this CRM form, you can select the next pipeline. I'm going to allow duplicates in this case and I'll click on save. And now what I want to do is I want to come out of here. And if you want to embed that satisfaction survey on your website, you can get link or code here, website page, you can view the code and you grab that and paste it into the page on your website that you'd want to do. What I've done is I've created a Bittrex 24 site uh, called Survey. If I click into the page and then click on Edit, I've created just a, a short uh, Bittrex 24 site. And what I want to do here is I want to click on Edit. And then what I can do is I can change the form in here if I wanted to. So here I'm going to click on Edit. And then what I can do is I can click on edit block and here I can specify the, the CRM form that I want to select. So Bittrex 24 satisfaction, click on save. And what that will do is it will add my CRM form in here. As simple as that. Now, what I want to do is visit the site and just take a look. Obviously, if you've embedded it onto your website, you can go there. But you can see on here, it's nicely hit set out. I've got a little bit of information and on here. And it's quite good to use Bittrex sites because they are uh, useful just to quickly pop, and pop. And then here, we're gonna select, and I can select multiple in here as well. And then again, meets it very well. And obviously you can have the questions that you would want and then click on send. Once we click on send, what will happen is I can click into, uh, back into the Bittrex 24 system. I can click into CRM. I can go to Smart Process Automation and click Survey. What we will then see is the survey being submitted. It's now, it will have arrived at the new survey, but we have that automation to change the stage. And I can click in here and see all of the information that has been submitted. And again, you can put any automation on any of these stages should you want to. I can view it in the Kanban view. I can then view it in the list view so I can see all of the answers to every single question. And I've even got the ability to export all of my results into a spreadsheet should you want to track that data. And that's how simple it is. The next step, what you would do Next time you move on to the next survey, you would click onto pipelines, you would add here, and then we could say C oh, CRM survey, add that, and then you would then move on to adding, switching pipelines, click on here, click on field settings, add the additional fields that you would want to have in your CRM survey, click on create, and then you can customize this look. You can delete this section with the, all the old questions in and then click on select field and you can add all of the new questions that you've added. That means that then when you switch back to the original survey, the fields will still remain in this one related to the Bittrex 24 satisfaction survey. If you switch to the CRM survey, the fields will be relevant to the CRM survey only. So hopefully uh, you found that useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please get in touch with us uh, for a full demonstration or to find out more about this solution or any other solutions, please go to interface.com slash solutions. Thank you very much and bye for now.